sitting in his rocker we back at it again this time we're gonna do one it's just a couple years old and i mean it might be what four years old two three i think two, three. it's a year yeah, a year a year oh, damn it seemed like it's been about two years i don't know maybe because it just throws out so much but uh y'all look at that beautiful artwork uh, it's just freaking awesome we're gonna get into this one but um i did a little research on on it before and it was the, the Harpath, is that what I said? The Harpath River in Tennessee when it flooded in 2010. And Ryan, I went through your lyrics and I actually I got the lyrics right here in my lap because there's a few pointers I wanna point out in this song. But we experienced a very similar ordeal in 1994. And it was the flood of 94 here in Georgia. and. Man, it, it it messed our I mean it, it messed our area up. It was crazy. I mean there was stuff washing up on the shores of the river all over the place. Especially when it started receding, you started finding all kind of stuff. So I, I understand the livestock and the truck verse and all that. So we're gonna get up in this. This is heavier rain by Ryan Upchurch. I mean, you know, usually it's like, like, like in Hollywood, whoa, whoa, yeah, and then this is just, ooh. But if you're not listening, you don't hear it. It adds ambiance. Uh, ambiance. Ambiance. Like the blue lights. <laughs> that was your face. You were for me. <laughs> Tired of the dictionary. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, I mean, back it up just once click, and y'all listen, you'll you hear him in the back, just, ooh, do it. Wait, who's sitting in the sink? <laughs> Your mom didn't say he's sitting in the sink. Your mom said he was oh, setting the, the scene. scene. Boy, oh boy. I was about to say this process through my head. It, okay, yeah, you did graduate, right? Yeah, I, I, I know you did, okay. Anyway. I was about to say, why is Ryan sitting in the seat? Hell, back then, hell, if it floated, I mean, if you was caught out there and the sink floated by, I bet you climb your ass in it. It was a big one. Oh god, I gotta elaborate y'all. Mom would climb up on the vanity in the bathroom and sit in she's not sitting in the sink. Her her butt's on the edge of the sink with her feet crossed in the sink putting her makeup on. She's Indian style um, in the sink. It, it's Welcome it's normal now. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Uh it's it's normal now to me, but when I first Saw this, I was like, what the fuck? What are you doing setting the sink? I put my makeup on. So, any other women do that? Any other women do that, Mom said? But anyway, back to heavier rain right up there. Burn in my brain, still made clouds burn. 
Okay. I can I can go along with that because I mean when you look back at pictures of the flood of '94 and you're like, damn, that, I mean that was that was crazy. You know, and you think about it and you think about the people that were trapped and the people that they had to go into the neighborhoods and the boats to get them out because there was no way out of the neighborhood because the the roads were flooded and their houses were getting flooded. They had no way out. And, and I know it happened there too. So, I mean, I feel for you there. I mean, I didn't almost die in the flood, but. No, but we could have. We could have, cause uh, yeah, we went, we went exploring and we was down by the river and we had a sheriff come tell us that we needed to get the, I mean, point blank, I'm gonna tell you what the sheriff's words were. He looked at us, I don't know why he didn't offer to drive us out. Cause we walked down into where we was at. Cause I had parked on high ground. And he come down there where we was at, and he told us to get the fuck out of there because the levee was fixing to break. And you talking about down some some folks running? We, we was taking off. We was getting the hell out of there. I didn't want the levee to break and us be right there by it and get washed away. Anyway, back to it. It's kind of hard to hold. Gonna... It's hard to hold and do this, but that's kind of fucked up right there. I mean, you think about some old folks being trapped on the roof of their damn house, and and they're just sitting there praying to God, and you know, and and, and come to terms that they might not make it. And he's saying getting baptized in the river. And I mean, and that was in Tennessee. That happened in May. So I, I, I imagine the water was still pretty chilly. It was pretty cold because he said in the cold water. So, I mean, I can, you know, I, I hope everybody that was trapped that way made it out. But I mean, I'm sure they was, they was death tolls, they was death tolls here. But anyway, back to it. people caught that. Did you catch it? Oh no, I'm trying to do it oh, thank you. I love you too. In your rocker. In my rocker. No, but I mean, he says, so when you threaten me, it's exciting to see how you think you scare me, mister. Because I've seen heavier rain. So, I mean, you know, don't come at me. I mean, don't, don't come at me sideways and then you know, the record labels try to drown me out. You'll see crazy eyes and a crooked smile sitting on his face. And we've seen that over and over and over out of him. But the one I was talking about, I wanted they. Um, but the one I was, the, the one that really made me think how many people really caught it is he says, "You uh, and I ain't made of sugar or carry no shame. I ain't made of sugar. What happens to sugar when you put water on it? It dissolves, it melts, it get, goes away. And he ain't made of sugar, he ain't going no fucking where. Don't be damn trying to put water on him. Cause, I mean, they gonna be like a damn bobber on the water. I'm gonna bounce around, but look at, fuck you, hey, look at this. So, go, all right, let's go. Yeah, I'm He's Rebel Tough, Southern boy. That's all that means. Keep going, I'm talking to you. Some chase the standard. 
No! You keep moving your hands! Hand. <laughs> We're gonna have to go through these hand signals again. That was just me, just you keep going. This is stop. This is keep going. Back it up. What I was gonna say was you're gonna have to take, after two lines, you gotta stop. And then I was, we go. <laughs> Some chase the standard, famous and pampered, the sales make no decision. Damn. All right, that is the fact. I mean, that is a fact, sure enough fact. Jack. As Snowman said, facts. For so some chase the standard of famous and pampered. They try to act like, I mean, golly, people, you know, look, just because the motherfucker's famous. Don't act like that motherfucker. Y'all don't worship these motherfuckers. They, they're, they bleed red just like you do. They've got a heart. They've got lungs. They got every, they just like y'all. They put their britches on one leg at a time every morning. You hey, always step one foot at a time. Well, I mean, actually, they put their britches on one foot at a time. You stick one foot in your leg. Not in your leg. In your pants <laughs> leg. You stick one foot in your pants leg at a time. Every fucking body does. I mean, unless they do a backflip and they got the sun bitches hanging and they can do a flip. And if they can do that, I don't want to fucking see it. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot in. That'd be fucking awesome, wouldn't it? Somebody had their damn clothes hanging up, they do a backflip and go in there. No, she's laughing about putting your foot in. I know, I know, about putting my leg. I want to see you try to do that. Anyway. That made a lot of sense right there. And, and, and because he said, and he says for their sales, they make no decision. They don't make no decision because their decisions is based on who they're idolizing. Whoever, whatever, whatever, whatever person they're idolizing, what they're doing, they, they're going to try to do similar. Uh, yeah, and they, yeah, a lot of the celebrity mainstream media, I mean, it's done been pointed out. I mean, hell, church pointed it out about them trying to, to, to hook up with Morgan. The, I mean, Morgan's PR person, like, no, we can't, y'all can't do this right here. No. I mean, did Morgan know about it? I don't know. But, I mean, that right there was the PR saying, no, Morgan can't hang out with you. I mean, that's for their sales, make no decisions. Because if it was, I mean, it, it, if it, if if that was his decision, he's like, no, man, I, I can't hang out with you right now, church. But it was a PR person going to him saying that. So I mean, who, you don't know how Morgan might be like, hell yeah, come on over here, man, let's fucking party, you know. And I think that would probably have been his response. Church, you might want to watch that. He probably would have threw a chair at you. No, he threw a chair at all the fucking bar. Yeah, I'm, that's that's the thing about it. I'm not. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was just like when we met Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon and them. I mean, hell, we sat there and what? We talked for two hours. Well, Mom fainted. She didn't faint. She liked. She just didn't realize that Jimmy was standing behind her. She liked the hat. But uh, just because you got money and you're famous, I'm not gonna treat you no different. Because it's just it just means you were good at what you were doing and you got paid for what you were doing. And mom sat there and argued with Jeff Gordon. I mean, she she played out told him that Jimmy Johnson drove better than him. So I mean, and and he sat there and, and he took it. And, and you know, people damn talk shit about Jeff Gordon. But Jeff Gordon to me was a stand up dude. The way he treated us. And I mean, we had a, a meet and greet that was only supposed to last thirty minutes, and he well, sat there and talked. For almost three he hours. sat there and talked to us for no, it was it was right at two hours. It was, it, it was longer than that. Though. It was a long time. It was a long time longer than that for you because you were young. But I mean, it was right at two hours. I mean, what the damn people come and told him he needed to get on the track for them practice, and he said, "I'll get on the track when I get ready to get on the track." I mean, that right there was his money talking. But, yeah, hey, you, go get them three tickets. Yeah. Now, Earnhardt section. Right in front of the damn start finish line. That was an awesome race. That's a story for another time. If you That's want a, to yeah. know, you have oh, anyway, Lord. Oh, Lord. What did I do? Mm. 
Yeah, we get into other things. I'm sorry, folks. But back to the dance song. You got your lyrics? No, I got tic tac toe. You got tic tac toe? I got tag. I got an ad. Huh? We'll get off the ad. We're going to take a moment to. I don't have an ad. We're going to take a moment to view the artwork while you get situated. I think it's just cool, though, how that artist made the rain splash up off of the jacket. Made the rain splash around. I mean, not the rain, but the water splash around. I mean, he did such a wonderful job on this thing. Church, I want a copy of this. Where can I get a copy? Comment on, tell me how you look. It's titled this. And, uh, and I'll go look it up. It would be good with that. It would go real good, yeah, with what I got on the wall. John Wayne? That ain't no John Wayne. Are you fucking idiot? I don't know who it is. That's Jeb Stewart. I don't even know who that is. He was a Confederate general. Well, guess what? We ain't talking about that. That's right. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a dude riding through the heavy rain. I mean, I get out of that picture right there. All he, they don't really have saddlebags, but that makes me think kind of like the Pony Express kind of deal. You know, it didn't rain, sleet, snow, or shine. They they rode them horses and took the mill. Where the fuck is my? Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Technical difficulties, roll on. So like a danger, back broke okay. It's six feet in transmission. Oh my god. Did you I I like having the lyrics here and I and, and, and realize what the hell he's saying. He says something like the danger in back row cocaine. Huh? No, sir. And a six-speed Chevy transmission. Cocaine speeds your heart up. Cocaine hey, makes everything like race. Yeah. He's talking about back road cocaine. Yeah. He's talking about on the back roads with a fucking yeah, badass yeah. ride, with a six-speed transmission, the curves, mountain roads, I mean, the switchback curves. I mean, he's talking about getting that adrenaline going. Yeah. That's the back road cocaine. I mean, he... And it also could be the dust from the dirt road. The dust from the dirt road? No, he's talking about that in Trinidad. Well, he's talking about it now. Back road cocaine, back in the day, yeah. was dirt road dust. Yeah, or now Moonshiner's cocaine. I can see that being considered Moonshiner's cocaine, too, because, I mean, you know, they get, they had to yeah, get... Yeah, they burned up the road. Well, you know, they had to, when, when they got chased, especially if they got away, you know, that damn adrenaline was pumping like a motherfucker. Right, so that was, that adrenaline is the best cocaine. Don't do cocaine. Yeah, yeah, do sure. something to raise your adrenaline. Let's go. We didn't get lost in churches adrenaline. <laughs> We're lost in churches adrenaline. That's like getting lost in his mind. I'd like to go wandering through there one time. I, it would be scary. I don't think it'd be scary. I mean, sometimes you go, you might, it, it, okay, you, you, there might be doors you'd open up and oh, fuck, I ain't going in there. <laughs> What's going on in here? What's going on in there? Anyway, back to the music. Tell me, dream, I say, come get some. You won't even know you're bigger. Cause this country boy ain't a lady's way to toy. I come from a mile. Oh, 
Sink or swim, son. I've been on a limb, so I, I'm thinking he's saying that he's he's been there to where it's either it's either let go or to, it's either let go and, and hit the water, running or not running. You can't run. Hit the water. Hit hit the water swimming or or sink. And I think that's like when he when he first, I you know it was up church already. It was all funny videos, all comedy. But then he, passion was for music. So when he, him being on a limb and singing or swimming was letting go of that limb and dropping that first deck on music. Dropping that first song and, and seeing whether people liked it or not. So when he let go and dropped in that water, he didn't know whether he was gonna sing or swim. But when he seen the positive reaction from the song, he's like, damn, I'm swimming. Just keep swimming? Just keep swimming. But, if you read but then as the people's lives on the fence, what? That's what I was going to say. If you finish reading that lyric. Yeah, and the people's lives reading. get swept from their fences. Yeah, he's talking about what actually happened. Oh, yeah. I mean, we seen it here in 94. I mean, there was... It was bad. It was bad. I mean, and... But it took probably it probably took three months it probably took took three months before life to get halfway back in one more so I'm sure it took that long if not more for it to get back that way in 2010 in Tennessee all right go ahead I gotta agree with that too because I mean the way he talks about Chicken Willie, the way he looked up to Chicken Willie, you know, that was that was his Chicken Willie. His his grandpa pretty much took the place of his dad to me in a lot of ways in his eyes. Even though he knows his dad and, and his dad and him had had I was gonna say have had a, a relationship, it wasn't nothing like his his and his grandpa's. I mean, his grandpa passed before Ryan really blew up, so it was. His papa never got to see him do country music and point his finger at mainstream and say, "Hey, y'all, you know, y'all doing these damn people wrong." But I, I, I say he sees it, church. He sees it. Might not be here with you to enjoy it, but he sees it. He's enjoying it where he's at. Yeah. You keep your eye out, you'll, you'll see signs of it. You'll see signs of it. All right, let's get back to music. Yeah, That is not a term set in stone. I mean, heavier rain can mean your hardship, what you're going through, and, and making it out of it. It's, it's heavier rain is now when you're struggling. And it would, I must, I, that's why I said when it flooded here in 94, it, it took at least three months before things got half-assed back to normal. And that was a struggle. And, and, and yeah, it was because of heavy rain. But hell, I mean, people going through hard times, 
regardless of a natural disaster, you can go through hard times just because uh, you got fired from a job and you're trying to find another one. I mean, hard times is hard times and we all go through them. But there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Just you got to keep chugging. You got to keep going. You got to keep trying to make it to the end of that tunnel. Don't give up. Don't run out of gas. There's but always a top you gotta stop. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always. Well, a, I ain't gonna say there is even a top. No, it really could be. It could be. A, it could be a plane. I mean, but you just go across it. You get there. Like that one song he says, I mean, he, he says he don't know where he's going, but he knows where he's going. And that was, a, yeah, and I understood that too. Hey, I don't know where, I don't know how I'm getting there, but I'm getting there. I'm going to make it. And that's the way you should feel when you're, you're going through hard times. I'm going to make it out of here. And if you got a plan, good, then you know how you're going to do it. But if you ain't got a plan, but I'm I'm gonna make it out of here one way or the other, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna rise. I'm gonna get there. But y'all go check out Snowman Reacts. Me and him having a ball back and forth, uh, and I don't know. I might start up something else with him here shortly. I have no idea. He's got too many toys to play with. He's got too many toys to play with. But I mean, I'll let him. I, 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 I'll throw it out there and I'll let him come back at me. He, he can beat up on me all he wants. That's my buddy. But y'all check out Snowman Reaction. And hell, check out Triple T Reaction, Captain Kirk. Check out all the reactors, I mean. But uh, we talked about this song. And I had a plan for a video, and I'm still going to do it. I, it's just going to take me a little bit to do this video that I'm, that I'm planning. And hey, Snowman, I might need some help. I mean, uh, maybe you got some pointers, or maybe you can come you up. Seen yeah, maybe you've seen something we ain't catching, and maybe you can help me out with this. But I, I have a video that I'm gonna put out once I get it figured out how to do it. But after that, that, that being said, done. We talked about this one and talked about this one and I went ahead and looked it up. And if what I looked up is correct, there's only been one other reactor to react to this song. And that was Vibe. They don't have no understanding. It was Uncle Ray. And I didn't go look at it, but I think I'm gonna go watch it and see if he really caught and really understood what this was about. But hey, y'all, this has been a long one. I mean, I love doing this one. This is a really good song. And y'all go check it out. Give it, Get them views up on it. So, so until next time, y'all keep it real. Next to real. Next to it, boy, next to it.